Hi guys, if I ever wanted somebody fighting my corner, it would certainly be somebody like Eddie Dempsey of the RMT union. So a number of trade union representatives were invited to speak with Kate Burley of Sky News to talk about the industrial action their members are currently taking. Now the RMT represents some rail staff and they have been calling for a number of things from the owners of industry. Better pay to deal with the cost of living crisis, better conditions to improve the working environment for the employees and the removal of the threat to replace them with agency staff. As we know, company bosses either don't go on TV to defend their position, or when they do, they're not grilled to the same extent union bosses are. And this was called out by Eddie Dempsey here. Have a listen. We don't think it's right that we've got employers making huge profits out of our industry. Uh, by the way, you don't ask any questions about that. You ask us whether we're justified in looking for pay rises. Nobody seems to worry about these companies and the profits they're taking out of our industries. At the same time as expecting Don't square workers up on the to have public, pay because you're going to lose them if you do. Pardon? Don't square up against the public. These are questions from the public. I'm not squaring up against. You know, I'm not squaring up against the public. But these are all of these questions are about: Are we justified in taking strike well, That's action? obviously what they want to ask you. Oh, well, that's the sort of thing that you want to ask. I think in the media. I mean, you're <laughs> supposed it. to speak truth stop to power. It. Stop it. It's meant to be a noble profession, and what you do is just parrot lines from employers. Oh, stop and it. And parrot lines from the government. And what you never do is point to the fact that we got do a you government. You don't watch my show in the morning. Well, I've, I certainly I've don't never, I've, from I've the never government. heard you. Thank you very much. We, we, we've got a government right now that is bringing laws in to make it harder for workers to strike. Okay. They're enforcing wage cuts on workers and they're paying with taxpayers' money to cover the losses that employers incur during strike action. Okay. We'd get to a settlement a lot quicker if they didn't do that. And we'd probably get there a lot quicker if people in the media held them to account. Oh, okay. Uh, the government doesn't come in because they don't like the questions I ask. Thanks very much. Well, sometimes they do come in. But look, there's an unwritten rule or unwritten agreement between the media and politicians that the media will ask certain questions, maybe even grill them a little bit, but they will never push the envelope. They'll never really hold their feet to the fire because they know that they will be excluded. They, the minister will not turn up to do an interview or the, another minister will, will be sent who isn't really an expert, <laughs> none of them are, but will not be responsible for the area where the questioning is taking place. So they can just say, well, I, look, that's not my area, that's not my area. So there is a sort of agreement between the media and politicians, and it's about gaining access. So if, we, if you ask too difficult of questions, you won't be invited to ask questions the next time. But when it comes to the trade unions, well, the, the media don't care. They'll grill them to, the, to their heart's content. But when it comes to business owners, they could grill these people, but these people don't turn up for interview. Like People like Eddie Dempsey or Mick Lynch are household names, but the CEO of some of the rail companies or the CEO of Royal Mail, for example, people don't know who these people are. These are people who earn you know, in the, in the range of half a million pounds a year, and they're asking their workers to take a pay cut. And as Eddie has pointed out here, which is correct, and it's something that the media don't pick up on, is that the government have been compensating many of these companies when the workers go on strike. So the companies are not losing out any money. So how, are, how is industrial action supposed to bring these companies back to the negotiating table if the company is bailing them out, sorry, the, the government is bailing them out. So this is why it's important that, yes, if uh, trade unions are going on strike, they need to be uh, held to account, asked, why are you doing this? Do you understand the impact it's going to have? That's completely legitimate, a legitimate form of questioning, line of questioning. But it also has to be applied to these companies who are making massive profits. Why are you making massive profits when you're saying that you need to lay staff off? Why are you making massive profits for your shareholders when you're saying that um, it's too expensive to pay staff even more? And of course, the main point here when it comes to the government, and Eddie is great at highlighting this, that the government are trying to push through legislation at the moment it's to harm uh, public sector workers, but of course it will be extended to those in the private sector as well. They're trying to push through legislation that will make it possible for companies to lay off staff if they go on strike and be replaced with agency staff. 
which is completely unacceptable. So well done to Eddie for saying this and calling the media out because they have to be as well. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.